Hi everyone, just doing a uh, morning walk around. That's the uh, former mansion of Anna Rice Cook, who uh, husband uh, Charles Montague Cook, of course, part of the Castle and Cook family, the big five of people that, uh, of corporations that profited immensely after the theft of uh, Hawaii from the Hawaiians. And across the street, for those that follow us, is the usual encampment of uh, Occupy Honolulu. Of course, we see no tents here. I just wanted to show that the uh, encampment, as it does in the morning, um, is packed up, moved to private property in order to comply with Ordinance 11-029, uh, which the state has been using uh, to confiscate uh, property um, from the camp, the tents and whatnot. So you can see that this area, there is uh, no, no tent, uh, no chairs, nothing. Um, there's the public forum which they set up uh, every morning. So I think uh, what we should do is visit the uh, public forum, which is moved from the sidewalk into what the state has uh, last decided is within the park. Uh, boundary and now this looks like sidewalk but of course it's these uh, white blots indicate what the uh, state determined was the park boundary back in December 29 and you can see here the informational uh, kiosk of the uh, Occupy Honolulu encampment. Let's see. Uh, let's see what's up here. All right. So tell me what's up. Welcome to Occupy. The Occupy Honolulu encampment version. A million point oh. Welcome to the camp after drill. <laughs> Where'd the tents go? Uh, private, private property. property. So they're not being stored here? No. Why would we store our tents in public space? We never store it. We reuse everything we have. That's right. Very good. Anything to say to our millions of viewers on the... Uh, everybody looks like they're in a good mood. Yeah. For, for you know, what? I'm really tired, but I'm in a pretty good mood. I mean, I'm not flipping off the camera. So. <laughs> good morning or good evening, wherever you are. I hope you have a great day. And night, whatever. Great day, night. Just a great being. Hope you have a great being that is an R. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, for reference, it's before 8 a.m. Uh, in uh, the morning here in Honolulu. We'll come up with better shit to say later. And there, will be. They're gonna. So it's early, so they're gonna work on some real cool shit to say later. <laughs> Not yet. I should the mention park. that. Uh, the uh, okay, so I guess I can say that to the camera. So basically, what happened is that uh, there were two park car, uh, two parks department vehicles, like the trucks, uh, over by the bathrooms, and then um, there was a uh, a squad car. I didn't see it, but I guess it happened. It drove through the park. I guess they, uh, you know, had every intention of possibly raiding us. But then they saw that we were, you know, ready for them, and that and was they, it. They did come on a tagging raid yesterday. You know? Yeah, they did yesterday, and which is why we did drills today. We don't want them to take our stuff. I mean, they're gonna, you know, they're take, gonna take our stuff anyway. But yeah, gotta give them less reason to. Yeah. Especially when they're not tagged. Either that or more reasons to just see their asses. Right. Thank you. I want to take a thing of that. Where's this? You don't have this occupied. There. There. It is. <laughs> There's a Santorum for President sticker on it. Occupy Rick Santorum. Santorum. O Occupy I Rick hope, Santorum. I hope that none of you ever encounter Santorum, ever. Because you shouldn't encounter him on your ballot or in your bedroom. <laughs> Have a nice day.
some uh, all this furniture is uh, gleaned off the uh, gleaned off sidewalks, and then uh, at at a certain point, it's um, at a certain point, it's confiscated by the police um, or the city crews. It bears repeating. Here is a art installation. This is tag. So uh, this the life here is uh, might be limited. All this um, furniture was gleaned um, from sidewalk. Want to say anything to our uh, millions of viewers? Uh, our millions of viewers. Really yeah, there, well, there's a million. We're getting take. prepared to. Uh, we had a, we had a tag last night uh, or yesterday morning night, about yeah. seven o'clock. So we were, we were all sleeping, kind of stuff. But now we got up at, we got up this morning around five thirty, and we broke down the tent, set up the place real nice. Um, if you can look around, even the trash looks nice. So yeah. there's no litter. Um, everything's put together. We got stuff taken away. Um, of course, they're gonna they're not gonna, they're not gonna show up on time because that's how they work. Yeah. Right. So, um, but we still have to get up on our toes, and it's it's not a lot of it's not hard work. It's up. just a lot yeah, of it. It's a uh, it's a really great example why we're here in the first place because we're standing here faced from resistance of this system. Is, you know, we, we have to do what we can. Do what we can do. A lot of people drive by and say, get a job, get a job. Get a job. Yeah. Oh, well, when we get off work, we'll do that, right? So, <laughs> um, um, it looks nice so far. Um, there, a lot of the stuff here is tagged, actually. Yeah, so like here. this stuff, like the table and stuff, is probably subject to being taken away, right? Look at our canopy, the tag is right there. Oh, let me take this. Oh, here is the tag, indeed. This is what we're talking about. This is the tag. Um, can't really see it too well, but you can see city ordinance uh, 11-029. That's what uh, Bill 54 became. So this stuff here, since it can't be rotated out into private property, is subject to seizure and uh, is very ephemeral, meaning transient, temporary. Uh, actually, the Greek root is um, for only one day. So I just wanted to do that walk around and show you guys what's up. Um, if the police come to take stuff away and I'm here, I'll uh, live stream that. Meantime, thank you uh, so much uh, for joining us, and I'll see you again soon. Signing out now from...